this is Little Meerkat and welcome to my first ever Minecraft video. I am here touring my castle project, Miggington Castle, and Little Meerkat is my gamer tag, just so you know. And we're going to be travelling back in the Time Traveller 5000. And so what we're going to do is we are going to pull down the lever and we will immediately travel to the Middle Ages in 3, 2, one we are in the middle ages and we should now see the castle right there it's very very big and so let's go round to the front gates there's a few holes in there um and this moat is very deep which means that tight soldiers clunking in their armor will be exhausted and by the time they get oops, by the time they get into the, get to the other side on the one wide river bank they are so exhausted that they now have to jump up and oh yeah and oh here we are at the front gate up here is the lava trap so any intruders can not pass and they'll be burnt to death We've got a cart, sell it with supplies in it. And here's a fact, gates close at 8pm. And I think it's ideal to have triple gates because it's because you can protect the castle very quickly. So for example, if I was a robber, I'd run in to, through the first gate to dodge the oil. But then they'd quickly shut the, first, the second gate and the third gate so that I can't come in, which I think is a big priority. And here we have the towers. Here are the window. So these windows are important because you need to defend the castle from the sides and they could just climb over it. And if they were trying to build a ladder next to the window, you could go around and pew pew, shoot them. Let's go up one of the towers and it takes a while and here is the tower we've got ammo in here arrows to fire out at any coming enemies I this is a very important item because you can you don't want if if enemies climb up then you're going to have to find a way to shoot them and split the long distance range as well so let's go across this wall and there's a guard there ready to man the guns and out here we're going to go straight to the bell tower so the bell tower is a, is a is very important because you can see from a very big distance and you can warn others if there's attackers in the castle or nearly approaching or if there's any trouble going on and here's a prisoner in the tower he doesn't look very happy and up we go to the town crier this is the person that alerts everybody there's the bell and then for example he's saying there's a robber in the bakers so I'm going to go over to the bakers and see where the robber is. And there's a lot of people walking around, not really noticing. But here's the robber. He wants um, some of the pie. Here's the baker who wants to make some pork pies, but the robber's interrogating her. And bakers is very important for food supplies and there's a lot of hungry people to feed so there is also a butcher's here as well some people are complaining about the pork chops and they should be yumming but in here she hasn't got round to butchering and she's got some eggs which is important as well for food and here's the blacksmith this is important to fix worn down tools and make new ones for new freemen who want to fight. 
and we have fake lava here because real lava was beginning to burn the building down and we've got some weapons in there here we have the stables which is important so knights can hop on their horses and they can go out to the battlefield to battle and we've got some more people walking down here here is the great dining hall this is important because you've got a lot of hungry mouths to feed and so they all come here and sit and eat and here's where the king sits there's me looking grand and here we come into the knights quarters the knights just woken up and they've got pairs of they've got armor sets and iron swords they've got things to help them be strong and in here is the kitchen that's supposed to be an apron and here's all the things that they would have eaten so they had bread mushroom stew chick meat wine carrots and potatoes because of course you need fruits and veg in your time and there's lots of beds up there before we leave and as we leave the great hall we shall now go to the animals pen it's quite overcrowded but it's important to have lots of animals and here is the training academy this is very important because you need to be prepared and new knights need to be trained so in here you've got practice swords and practice armor so that you can do combat on rough surfaces so there's a robber on the roof and they need to try and battle them and then here you've got to practice fighting through the windows you can go around if you want to be a practice attacker for someone else and here is the archery training and here we've got bows and arrows and so you start here and you shoot through the windows and the targets and once you hit the red one you go one step further and once you hit the target again you go one step further and to get rid of the arrows the person could just go around here and pick them all up and it's very very important to have to be prepared in battle and we're now going to explore the towers And so we go up these towers again. The towers are early warning systems and prevent people from trying to go over. There's another arrow trap and there's a guard switching shifts. And I think that is all that castle has in store. And now I'm going to go over and do my This was an amazing experience building my new castle. This project was quite challenging because we had to deal with all the problems with the castle and figure out how to fix them. I have learned that there is always a way around things and that you shouldn't let anything get in your way. My advice for making a castle is to do all the, the figuring out and planning first before you build it because nothing can go wrong and as you go along planning it you can adjust along the way i think i should be chief art architect because i can organize when to build and how to build it and i can assemble a help team i would have spent more time doing the castle but i think i've made a very good one and to end the video I am going to fly over the castle for one last overview.